we are in the heart of storm season right here in Middle Tennessee, and it can be dangerous for families who live in vulnerable housing like mobile homes. Yeah, recently, local lawmakers passed the Safer Places Act that will now allow more storm shelters open across Tennessee. Thanks to help and hard work from our very own meteorologist, Heather Mathis. You know, we hear from families every single time that we have a threat for severe storms who live in mobile homes, who live in manufactured housing. And it was actually hearing from you at home that drove me to cover the issue on the lack of community storm shelters in our state and push for more doors to be open. When it crossed over Northfield on the Sulphur Springs, I was standing on Northfield looking at it. Amber Collier knows firsthand what it's like to be in the path of a tornado, recalling being a short distance from the EF4 Good Friday tornado that hit Murfreesboro in 2009. It was the most terrifying day of my life. Amber and her five-year-old daughter recently lived in these mobile homes. She says there are no storm shelters around her area in Smyrna. I was told by every police department, fire departments, nobody has shelters, nobody and especially to the public. While tornadoes can be hard to predict, one thing I know I can always forecast is getting a message from Amber, asking if her and her daughter need to leave their mobile home during severe weather. Whenever storms was coming and I would contact you and I would ask you, you know, um, do I need to take her to Walmart? You know, because that's the only location that we have. Representative Jason Powell is hoping to help families like Amber's with the passage of the Safer Places bill that eliminates liability for organizations who choose to open during severe weather. When I thought about the Safer Places, it made common sense. We need to make sure that we have places where when you face the severe weather, the public can go, they can feel safe. Powell sponsored this bill after seeing our stories on News Channel 5 about the issue and lack of community storm shelters across our state. Passing this bill to change a law is a big step forward uh, to let places know that they have the um, ability to open their doors, not worry about the threat of lawsuit. He wants churches and nonprofits to know now is the time to act before the next severe storm hits. I'm very thankful that you brought this bill to me. I think this is going to save a lot of lives. This is going to help a lot of people, and it's a very important step for the state of Tennessee. The Safer Places bill passed unanimously in both the House and the Senate in March. It is now going to be sent over to Governor Bill Lee to sign. Mm. Heather, just amazing work, and it's a no-brainer for the governor to sign it. But what will need to happen after that? Well, this is a really good stepping stone, and it's going to help fix the problem. But there are actually two things that really need to happen now. If you're a faith leader and you're watching at home or you have an organization that can volunteer to open, We've got to open those doors. The second thing is there really needs to be a very easy, accessible way for people to know when storms come in that these shelters are going to open in their area. So that's the next step that I'm really going to be pushing for next. Mm. So important to just get the word out. Yep. Mm -hmm.